Hi, my name's Dave. I'm back in the shop after a rather long hiatus. Um, the weather from July, August, and the early part of September, and, and into, into September, uh, was just too brutal. And I couldn't spend very much time down here. Uh, that, along with the problem that developed with my left foot, and I have a hard time standing for any length of time. I would like to thank Jeff Santo from Dark Moon Metals for subscribing and for giving me a shout out on his channel. He does a lot of neat things with metal from uh, welding to uh, machine work to uh, blacksmithing. He's just a, a well-rounded metal shop and I really enjoy the, some of the things that he does. Uh, Anyway, what I've uh, done here, or am attempting to do, is to make sort of a gear shift handle for the on-off lever on my Logan uh, 2557B uh, metal lathe. Uh, it was always inconvenient to reach underneath to the on-off knob. Uh, and, and just kind of locate it and, and do it. So uh, I want to make sort of a gear shift handle for it that sticks up uh, so that I can get at it a lot easier. Something similar to the handle that's on my Bolton lathe. The Bolton lathe is on the right and it travels the other Bolton lathe. The Bolton lathe on off switch is on the right of the uh, apron and travels with the apron. This is a fixed position on the Logan, but it'll be convenient, I believe. So, without any further ado, let's get at the metalworking. Thanks for tuning in, and thank you for all those who have subscribed to my channel. Uh, I'm, I'm surprised there's a little over 30 of you, and, and I really appreciate it. I hope that the content of this channel, although not up to par with Oxtool and A-Bomb 79 and a whole lot of the others, uh, it's a fledgling, fledgling channel. Uh, I need more uh, video equipment. I need a remote mic. I know that. Uh, they're rather expensive. A friend of mine is looking into one that he had and he's trying to locate it. Uh, at any rate, we'll try to improve. Thank you. The shop. The noise you hear in the background. Here, let me scoot over a little bit. Uh, I'll zoom in. That's my uh, Kalamazoo horizontal bandsaw cutting a uh, two-inch piece off of this aluminum stock here. This stock is uh, approximately three and a quarter inches in diameter OD, and the ID measures... Uh, okay, now I didn't measure the ID. I think it was like an inch 200,000, something like that. At any rate, what I'm doing is cutting a slug off of there, the pipe is about eight inches long. So I'm cutting a slug off of there because I want to make uh, an adapter to the on-off switch on my Logan leg. Currently what's there is, is, is just a knob. And it's on the left-hand side. And you turn it clockwise for forward, counterclockwise for reverse. The problem is, on my Bolton lathe, it has got an on-off arm that comes out, and I'll show you these in a moment. And it's on the right-hand side. And I'm used to reaching down for a handle, not a knob. So what I'm going to do here is make an adapter for this knob. Uh, I'm not sure how it comes off the switch, and I don't want to damage the switch. I can't find an Allen wrench or 
uh, any information right now on how the knob comes off the stem of the switch. So rather than take a chance on damaging the switch, I'm going to take this slug, I'm going to bore it out to the diameter of the knob, I'm going to slit it, and I'm going to put uh, uh, a screw through there to tighten up around this knob, and then I'll, I'll make and thread uh, a handle to come up out of there. Now granted, it will be on my left, and my other machine is on the right. But at least I'll be reaching for a handle, not trying to find this knob underneath the, uh, the table. So that's where we are right now. And I'm going to take you over and show you the, uh, the knob I'm talking about while this is finishing cutting. It's almost done. So what we have here... Oh, let me get right I'm sorry about racking you all around. There's the whoops. There's the knob I'm talking about. Okay. And it's it's a little inconvenient uh, compared to the on-off handle right there. The on-off handle, it, it's the uh, on-off handle from my bone and leg. Uh, there goes that damn phone again. Hold on. Okay. This is the on-off handle for the bolt and lathe. It's on the right-hand side, but at least it's it's a handle I can reach for, uh, sort of blindly because I can I can tell where it is. And that is my desire over here, is to put something similar on that and to have a bend to come out away from the lathe a little bit, then up, and staying clear of the quick change gearbox handles. So I'll bring you back a little later when we have this thing in the chuck. Thank you.